<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, we're going to be revisiting our friend here, the Mr. FPGA, which I had done a review of before, and I gave a pretty glowing review of. But this here is going to be a tutorial where I'm going to show you, if you have an existing Mr. setup, how you can migrate from your current micro SD card to a new micro SD card. Now, if I go ahead and hit back right here, for example, you could see that I have about three and a half gigabytes of storage on my micro SD card, but that's already been after I've deleted several games, mostly disc-based games on here. And I've gotten to the point personally where there's been a few times I've had to choose between games or updates, so I don't really want to do that. What I have is a 400 gigabyte micro SD card, but I'm going to be upgrading this to a one terabyte micro SD card. So if you are going to be upgrading or even downgrading the storage on your micro SD card, because you can technically do that, let's go ahead and get that sorted out. You are going to need a few things here. Of course, you are going to need your Mr. up and running. You're going to need your new micro SD card that you want to migrate to. You're also going to need a micro SD to USB adapter, and you're going to need a way of getting a script onto the Mr. Because that's another thing, we're actually going to be doing most of the work on the Mr., which is pretty cool. Now, the method we're going to be using for this is going to be the SD card migration utility for Mr., which is from Natrox. Now, this is a script which you can put directly on the Mr. itself. And the nice thing is, it's really, aside from downloading and transferring the script itself, that's really all you need a computer or another device to do. Most of the work, I'd say like 99% of the work, is going to be all on the Mr. itself, as long as you have the hardware required. Do keep in mind though, there is one limitation here, which it states it won't work with SD cards that are 2 terabytes or larger. So since I'm migrating to a 1 terabyte, that won't be an issue. Now I will be linking to the original form post, because this is actually how I found this here, but it does have a few links for wgit, for the GitHub, viewer itself and for the repository. Now, if you want to check out the repository, you certainly can, but if you want to go straight to the script, you can click on the GitHub viewer link here. It will bring you to this page over on Natrox's GitHub, and in order to download this, all you need to do is come over to the ellipse right here, click on this, click on download, and save the migrate sd.sh script somewhere you can easily find it. Now, you will need a way to get that script onto the micro SD card. Since you will already need a USB to micro SD card adapter, what you can do is turn off your mister, plug it into the adapter, plug that into your computer, and from here, navigate over to the Mr. Data Drive, which comes up, go into the scripts directory, and inside of the scripts directory, you just need to drag and drop the Mr. Underscore SD dot SH file. Once that's been copied over, come back here, right click, eject your USB drive or your micro SD card, and then take it back over to the Mr. And that's all there is to it. From here, you will need to take your current micro SD card and put it back into the primary SD slot on your Mr. board. Now you'll have to take that same USB adapter and plug in your new target micro SD card. This is going to be the one that you're going to be upgrading to, and you want to transfer the data over to. Plug that micro SD card into that, and then plug the adapter into your mister. Now once you turn your mister back on and have everything connected, navigate to the system settings option, go into the scripts setting, and now scroll down to look for the migrate SD script and launch this script. Once the script launches, it is going to give you a nice welcome message here, letting you know what the script does, the maximum supported size for this, as well as, of course, having the target SD connected with a SD card reader. Now, they also do recommend that you remove all unnecessary devices, so currently all I have connected to it, I don't even have it on my network. I just have a controller and my micro SD USB adapter plugged in, and it does say here that this could take anywhere from 20 minutes to 12 hours, of course, depending on the amount of data. So definitely make sure you don't want to play your mister for a long amount of time and you're okay just keeping it up and running on the side because it is going to take a while. Remember, the more data that you have, the longer it's going to take. Once you read this and you understand this, you can go ahead and continue on if you want to, which is what I'm going to do. It's now going to look for external drives, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. And it was able to find this one here. Now you can see that my source SD card has 364 gigabytes of data and the SD card I'm migrating to has 955 gigabytes free on here. 
so this will work. You just need to navigate to OK and hit OK. You could now choose which exact folders you would like to copy over, and if you want to, you could say yes to this. If you just want to copy everything over as is, you could say no. It is also going to let you know that all data on dev SDB is going to be destroyed. This just means that all data on your new micro SD card is going to be wiped. So if there's any data that you care about, you do need to back it up to your PC because this is going to destroy it. Since this is a brand new micro SD card, I'm okay continuing on. And once you continue on, just go ahead and let it do its thing. It is going to churn through this here, and now it's going to tell you we will now copy over data from the old SD card to the new SD card, and of course this might take a while. It's also giving a big warning right here, especially for anybody who has epileptic seizures, that the screen may flicker a lot while this is happening. So you might want to have this running on a display that is turned off, but go ahead and continue on as long as you're ready to continue. You can now hit OK. And now check this out, it's going to go through the file copy process. At this point, while it's copying everything from the old micro SD card to the new SD card, you're pretty much done at this point until this is completed. Really just keep your mister up and running on the side, feel free to disconnect any other peripherals and just do not touch your mister until this is complete. So see you in, well, quite a few hours. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, here we are. It just took a few seconds here in this video, thanks to the power of editing, but in reality, I did leave this overnight, came here in the morning, and this is what I'm getting. The copy has been completed, so at this point to continue on, we just need to do exactly what it says. Power off your mister, remove the current micro SD card from the board, go ahead and detach the USB to SD card adapter, remove it from there, and pop your new micro SD card into the primary SD card slot on the mister. And here we go. As you can see, I've now booted up the mister with my new micro SD card, and all of my menu options are still the same. All of my console cores are still here, but more importantly, if I hit the back button on here, Check this out, in available space, I now have 588 gigabytes free, as opposed to the about three and a half gigabytes that I was using before. So that's all there was to it. You just had to run that one script, leave it for a few hours or maybe overnight, and you should now have your complete Mr. Setup on your new micro SD card. There's really not all too much to it, thankfully. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.